Today we are looking at a Rexroth valve control, which is this unit here. This unit has electronics that control the spool in here. The spool outputs hydraulic fluid to control the valve body. This is the output device. This is the feedback from the valve body, so the valve control knows if the output is actually moving and working. To run a test on these, we hook up our valve tester. We have command signal set at zero volts output. This is our feedback section. This is our supply voltage. This is our supply. You can see the current level. First thing we want to do is take the control and run it all the way to one side. We place our hand on this to feel if there is any vibration as we're slowly moving. What this means is if we get to a point in the control, since we're moving it so slowly, if there's vibration, this could signal a problem with oscillation, causing intermittent problems within this hydraulic valve circuit. Notice we didn't say electronic, but hydraulic valve circuit. We're continuing testing. This command signal measures between minus 10 and plus 10. We've reached the end and don't feel anything wrong. Another way we know this is working correctly is if we move the control fast, we can feel the spool vibrating when moving within. Number two, if we look at the power supply as we go from one extreme to the other, you can see the current dropping and raising up. This means the load is working and things are being moved. If we disconnect the load from the valve control, we wouldn't see any activity. It would look dead, just showing power but nothing moving. Once we confirm this valve control is working, we will mount it on the output and put it on our machine for final testing. That will confirm we do have hydraulic flow coming through the system. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.